I'll zit my chums, my scuzzies, my cousins, my scuzzins, my bruise. I'll zit, I'm Chris Anopolis, and welcome to my crib. <laughs> So here we are at the main workstation, um, got two screens, I'm running Cubase, uh, it works great with the two screen setup, I usually have maybe my piano roll or mix on the screen, also for my lessons while using OBS, it's great to have a second screen to just keep an eye on everything. I've got these monkey banana monitors, uh, they're called the Gibbon 5s. We've got an award up there that we've won before, um, Best Extreme Metal Band, the South African Metal Music Awards. My keyboard. We've got some of these Swiss picks over here. The keyboard's okay, you know, just serves its purpose. I keep my cables back here too. Back here, I've got an Audio Technica 80 2020 and uh, some Ernie Ball strings. The main whip. This is the Ormsby Wasteland Genesis. It's got a Tasmanian blackwood body, Tasmanian blackwood neck, Bacotti fretboard, Ormsby pickups, Floyd Rose. This guitar is amazing. I'm also using happy cables. We've got the pedal. This is what I use live um, for the, the campus stuff. I've got my Focusrite 2i2. I've got a Countryman DI, Palmer Reamp box. Isn't that great? Some Horizon Devices pedals. I love these. Um, this Roland Cube actually is pretty good for monitoring my camper through the line in. Um, and of course, the camper. Then we have my, my Canon chargers, just have them there all the time because I'm using my cameras non-stock. Okay, so as you can see, I've got some acoustic treatment. This was done by my boy Jordan. You can check out his Instagram, like over here. He's great. So let, let's move on to uh, the guitars. I know I showed you the, the, the Genesis, but there's more, so let's do it. As you know, I mostly play Ormsby guitars, but over the years I've collected a few other ones um, before I even got my Ormsbys. Some of them are not even my guitars, so yeah. First of all, we have this very green Ibanez S-Series. It's got Damasio pickups, um, it's the Air Norton and uh, the Crunch Lab. I haven't changed these strings in forever or played this guitar. If anyone wants to buy it, you can. Um, it was a guitar I pretty much learned how to shred on. Then we have the Strandberg. I got, this was my guitar I got before I got my Arms Bees. Um, my first headless guitar, very cool guitar. Um, then we have my Arms Bee Goliath. This is my main eight string guitar. It's great, I actually have two of them, but one is with my bassist Chris right now, and um, he's given me one of his ding walls. We've done a trade while we're not touring. Um, we basically just traded our tour guitars for the time being. Then I've got a Fender Stratocaster. It's an American Special with Texas Special pickups, maple neck and fretboard, it's awesome. Jumbo stainless steel frets, I love it. Um, then we have my acoustic guitar, I actually used it on a recording recently, uh, on my solo EP. I don't really play much acoustic guitar, but when I do, um, this is what I use. Then we have 
this mystery guitar over here it's a Don Meister neck on a Squire right now I'm testing out this neck um, this is a prototype um, you, you, you should hear more about this in the future but yeah there's one more over there there's a bass actually this is my Fender Jazz bass five string American it's great if anyone wants to buy it I'm thinking about selling it so make me an offer and if you like it then cool um, you know I these guitars are just sitting around I would rarely like them to be played by someone and uh, that someone is not me right now so yeah so thank you all for watching my studio tour video I hope you enjoyed seeing the gear I use to record and where I spend most of my time if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe and all that jazz but for now I need to get back to working on my solo EP so you best be out of here but I'll see you guys soon hopefully Peace.